In this, our third episode of Cooking with Kenny and Kyle, we're adding a little bit of extra something to the uh, recipe, and that will be Tim Cahill. It's me. Now, Tim is usually on Welcome, the... Tim. Welcome, Tim. Usually, Tim is on the other side of the camera, but tonight he's going to be helping us because he makes a one the mean pizza. I'll do my best. Okay. Nobody's so... perfect. Exactly. <laughs> All right, tell us what you want us to do. All right, so... Uh, we're going to make a couple different toppings because pizza is very versatile, I guess. Indeed. Um, so why don't we start up by cutting up the, uh, the fruits. Vegetables. The vegetables. They're not fruits. Tomatoes are fruit. fruit. Yeah, that's a fruit. People think a tomato is a berry. No, they think it's a vegetable. So you know what? I'll grab another. But it's not, is it? Not really. You want that? Okay, I'll keep it. Can I grab another knife? Sure, of course. And I can... Uh, do I a wish... pepper or something? Sure, why not? Um, you could, I problem. I think there might only be one knife. Okay. I don't, I don't even know if this is going to even work on the onion, so we might... Oh, uh, it'll work. Oh, it'll work. It, it doesn't have... The beautiful thing about pizza is that it doesn't have to be beautiful. It's still going to taste good. In Italian, they would call it rustica. Really? Yes. I'm going to give this to, to Tim. One might? Oh, okay. The onion? It's all yours. What we have here is we've got some basil... Some pepper, some garlic, some tomato, and an onion. These are all the things that Kenny hates. Kenny, also, on your end, uh, what do you have? I have uh, <laughs> I have pepperoni, I have tomato sauce, I have olive oil, and mozzarella cheese. And what else do you have right there? A rolling pin, too. In the old days, you know, back in the 1940s, I'd seen that a woman would hit a man over the head with a... With a rolling pin, which he was mad at him. Please don't or hit me over the head. Wouldn't think of it, Tim. Phew. He's too kind. Too tender-hearted. You are. You're very tender-hearted. And, do you, oh. and what's your favorite kind of pizza, Ken? Well, I like the meat lovers. I love pepperoni and sausage and hamburger. Mm-hmm. And no, you I like the that... cheese. I'm well, crazy then... about all the different pizza chains that we've known for, the, for decades, like... Papaginos, Pizza Hut, Domino's, and Little Caesar. Mm -hmm. Well, we're really going to cheat tonight because we're going to use pre made pizza crust and everything. But yeah. we're all for ease and simplicity in the kitchen, aren't we? Indeed. Yes. Right. So we're not even going to use all this onion because it's only going on half of a pizza? Right. So but oh, really? Better to have more than less. Yes. That's Watch true. out for onion fumes. Oh, I'm getting a little teary-eyed. <laughs> oh, Kyle, you're over-exaggerating. That's what I do best. Obvious. Yeah, well, bouncing is what tiggers do best. That's true. This is a little strong, the onion. Okay. So is it a little, are, you, are you sad, Tim? Um, uh, not sad, but like a little... Teary-eyed? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just so happy to be here, guys. Well, we're so glad to have you, aren't we, Ken? Indeed. I wasn't expecting this, but but it's a great idea having an assistant. Uh, well, right. I wouldn't I'm know. just going to go over to the sink. I don't know that I would call him an assistant. I think he's kind of running this, this particular show. He's really good at making pizza. It's my show now. Nah, um, I don't know about that entirely, but... All right, so with the when you have a pizza crust, definitely not pre-made. You can just do it like this and All stick right. it on the. It's really uh, quite simple. Yep, and then just peel off the paper. Yep. Can you want to peel and I'll? You want to hold and I'll peel. Isn't that amazing? This gives us so much more free time to vacuum. <laughs> and other housewifely tasks. Okay, you want to make that round for us? Oops. I'm sorry, you danced beautifully, Tim. Thank you. Dancing around. We've also um, made some ground beef, uh, which we browned ahead of time because Kenny likes his pe his uh, pizzas beefy, right? Actually, it's part of the of the recipe in the book. In the Bible. Right. Right there. Sorry, didn't mean to forget. Right me. here. In Italian pizza? Exactly. And do you know where the original pizza was first made? 
In China? No. Where? In Italy. But where? That's exactly what I was thinking in of. In Naples. And it was supposed to represent the Italian flag. So you'd have the red in the sauce, and the green in the basil, and the white at the mozzarella cheese. Basil, that was the word I was looking for. That was my nickname during the war. What I'm saying is, when I was a oh, kid... Oven's I, done. Oven's ready, but When I was not. a kid, I read this, this book entitled Stories Behind Popular Foods. Told how uh, burgers and fries and potato chips and donuts and pizza and southern fried chicken and many others we all know and love. Could you do a southern accent That's for enough. us? It's mighty good, thank you. I love when Kenny does an accent. Yeah, you do the Italian one. Thank you very much, Why Kenny. Nice oh boy. See? Thanks, y'all. <laughs> you guys are distracting me from cooking. Well, we Sorry. are. We are cooking. <laughs> we're cooking up a storm over here with the comedy. So, now we're cooking with gas. Yeah, right. But even though it's an electric stove. Okay. <laughs> That's so a good one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trade you. Give me your Bible. Okay. I'm gonna put this over here, and I'm gonna let you put the sauce on the dough. Wait. Oh, uh, there's that pop. We love that, don't we? Really. Grab a spoon. Excuse me, Tim. All right. You're excused. Look at those delicious, heart-healthy vegetables. Mmm. Mmm. Kenny will not be enjoying those. Mm, mm, mm. All right. I think that's enough. It might All be right. a little too much, but you can never be. You can never. You never just gotta go with it. You can never be sure. What, right. What's our motto? Go with the dough. Oh. <laughs> All right, you now, mean flow. Kenny, could you take the spoon and spread the sauce out? Yeah. All right. You want to put it right to the edge. Look at that. He's a natural. Yeah. Doing pretty good. Thank you very much. Like I said, we're doing our best. Exactly. Well so done. Like how I'm doing my best with this butter knife. That How's this? A beautiful. Perfect. Now, shall we make this the meat lover's right. version? I think that Certainly. would be a good idea since okay. I'm still working on the Excellent veggies. Excellent idea. <laughs> Can you do, do that again, please? Excellent idea. Perfect. Okay. I missed my cue. All right. No problem. So, it was my catchphrase, not yours. Oh, okay. I'll try not to steal it. It's true. I mean, it was his catchphrase. It is. Okay. So I'm taking this ground beef and I'm putting it on the pizza as per Ken's instructions. Still hot. It is still hot. It'll be even hotter once it comes out of the oven. Indeed. And as we talked about last time, Hot 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 was a song by... Buster Poindexter. That's right. Probably, it was also David O'Hanson of a band called the New York Dolls. I wonder what he's doing now. Probably making pizza somewhere. I doubt it. I don't know. Pizza's universally accepted well, everywhere. nowadays when you want to find out about somebody, you can check him out, him or her, on the internet. Right, but... We're making New York style pizza, and he's from the New York Dallas, so I'm thinking maybe. Come on, Tim. Well, actually, Kiss have got a restaurant, you know, now. They but don't. They do. It's a beer and brew, something like that, you know, rock and brews. Oh, you know, that Something rem like that, you know. That reminds me. But, uh, Pasta? Yes. You know, we got an email earlier this week from a lady who wanted to know if we would do a cocktail segment on our show. And I told her I would have Kenny think about it. So, Kenny, what is your verdict? I don't do cocktails. They don't taste very good to me. Right. I prefer soda, and my, including root beer and milkshakes. What if you guys do mocktails? We could do mocktails. I made a mm. cocktail, but it was just milk in a cup. So it wasn't really a cocktail. It's almost there. Yeah. Ocean Spray makes cranberry juice cocktail. Yeah. But I or used to have make fruit cocktail. Well, no, I used to make. make uh, I used to have a uh, cran grape to drink when I brought it to work with me. Mm. You want to put pepperoni on this as well? Certainly. It can be meat and meat and more meat. Meat lover. Meat the meat. Actually, there's Arby's. We have the meats. Yes. And where's the beef? From Wendy's. And that poor lady Clara. Yeah. She's dead, you know. Speaking of death, we recently lost Roger Moore, who played James Bond, 007 License to Kill. I didn't know that. I, I was shocked to find this out, you know. You are a font of information, Kenny. Definitely. Always. 
It's my trademark. Among many. And cheese, I, I assume you want cheese on this before we of course. put it in the oven. Of course. Okay. Perhaps we should have done it first. Maybe. But you know what? That, there's no rules with pizza. You know, it's the worst thing that's going to happen is you'll have pizza. That's it's what you said about the chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, and well, was I right? Yeah. They were delicious, weren't they? It wasn't the worst at all. It was the best of the best. They were wonderful. All right, so there we go. A little go. more here and a little more there. There, and you want some there? Okay, and there. How's that? A little more over here. Okay. <laughs> a little more there. Cover up the spots. You Miss, don't, you don't. Miss the spot oh. pile. Oh. Hey, you don't want to be missing spots. This isn't the spot episode anymore. No, no, we are done with dots. All right, is it ready to go in the oven now? It's ready to go in I the oven. I believe so. Let me open the door for you. One moment, sir. Certainly. We are nothing but gentlemen here. Okay, so Gentlemen it goes, and scholars. It goes in and watch out, it's still very hot there, Ken. Okay. I so won't burn myself, I promise. Please don't. I don't need that on my head. So it there. goes into a four hundred degree oven for Tim. Twenty minutes. minutes. So let's set it for fifteen and then just give it a little peek and if it still needs more time, we'll set it for sixteen. Okay, great. I love All it. Alright. Should we I make the other we... round one? Or should we make the square one? Do you want to make a square one, Ken? We'll make another okay, round one. Yeah. All right, so that's a square one. So let's open the round one, bud. I'll open the round one. All right. One. All right. So this is to show you that there's so many different styles of pizza. I've seen everything but Tootsie Rolls on pizza. You could probably even do Tootsie Rolls, I think. Actually, I've seen the Teenage Mutant Turtles that, but with ice cream on pizza. And also that seems ridiculous. It's, and also a cereal, and I've also seen bubble Tootsie's gum. Tootsie Rolls, where we draw the line. Yeah, Tootsie Rolls, though, I wouldn't, no. No further than that. Yeah, that's... Going too far. Don't you agree? Indubitably. Indubitably. So Ken's going to unroll this pizza dough. You're going to have to touch vegetables. I hope you're okay with that. And of course, we've all washed our hands thoroughly. Absolutely. That's the first thing to do in cooking. Yes. Yeah. Often, Always wash your hands. You do it several times while you're cooking, don't you? Because you might Precisely. Have, you might have yik on your hands, and you don't want that. No one wants filth. yik. No one wants filth. No. Filth, there's no place for filth in the kitchen. Definitely not. It'll turn all right in the end. You'll see. Okay. We will I'm, see. Now it's funny that Kenny's making this one because Kenny does not like vegetables. Or fruits. Or fruits. But his last name is Del Monte. And that's the name of Fruit and Vegetable Company. It is indeed. By sheer coincidence. Yes. That one over my head. But okay. Let me get that for you. Over my Thank head you. is a song by... Fleetwood Mac. You're right. Some by keyboardist Chris Mavinia. Now she and Lizzie Buckingham are on a tour together. Really? Um, were they married? No. Oh. Christy Mavinia is married to John McVie, the bass player of Fleetwood Mac. Oh. Because her maiden name was Christine Strait. Hmm. I don't know anything Lizzie about Lizzie Buckingham that. was Stevie Nicks' boyfriend. Right. When they were on the band with Mick Fleetwood. Okay. So, uh, do we want to make sure this is round and less oblong, perhaps? Yeah, let's stretch it out a bit. Yeah, let's make it. Good good. idea. I know you want... Just don't tear it, whatever you do. I know you want me to, like, try to do the... But that's not going to happen. I think you should try. No, I think you're wrong. (laughs) It'll make a mess. Yes. That would be like, just... I might as well just take it and throw it on the floor. Some good TV? Actually, I've seen some TV when somebody threw a piece on the ceiling. Yeah. cheese pizza on the ceiling, I've seen it. I can do it. I can pantomime it. Like, like, you know, like, dun, 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 dun. like that. <laughs> you know, but anyway. Do you want to um, uh, employ your expertise with the sauce again, you saucy devil, you? All right, and spread that around with your spoon. Yes, sir. I'll get this out of the way. This is like the one time when there's too many cooks in the kitchen and it's actually fun. <laughs> But there's an old phrase that says, too many cooks spoil the broth. Well, there's no broth in pizza, is there? Definitely not. Some Only in soup. Just sauce. Too many cooks spoil the sauce. But we didn't make the sauce. We bought it in a can. In a jar. Jar. Sorry. Jar. All right. Okay. So let's make... Shall we dump a little more on? Maybe a little more. Can't hurt. Couldn't hurt. Couldn't hurt. I mean, it is just, you know, tomato sauce. Pizza sauce. Pizza sauce. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Yeah, it's not just tomato sauce. I didn't mean to infer that. Wow. Was, that there were actually vegetables. Get it involved. right. 
I know. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really, really well, You got to bring your A game today. I didn't, apparently. Yeah. This time, let's add the... Let's add the cheese first and then add the top. That's the way it's properly done. Oh, okay. Well. well, we're going to do the shredded cheese on only half of it, okay? Oh, okay. Here, I'll take this and get rid of it. Have it washed. Mm -hmm. I will have it washed. In fact, I'll do the washing. How's that? So why don't we do a layer of cheese on half of it, right? Half of it? On half of it, yep. The other half is going to be the pesto side. Okay. okay? These vegetables so, are called pesto? Now watch this. If we go like, hold on, if we go like this, and you can put more cheese on top of that, and it'll just blend together. Beautiful. And then for this side, put And the some, tomatoes. I thought you were going to cut them up into tiny little bits. Nah, big bits. I wasn't expecting this at all. I know. This is unexpected pizza. I was totally unprepared. Well, uh, actually, Ken, do you want to grab the big ball of mozzarella? Yeah, and you yeah, rip well. it up and you put it right on top. Well, you were gonna I never it. used this before. What? Oh, no, you can rip it right up. Oh, yeah, you could. Yeah. In Italy, they call that crudo de palma. Do you need palma. help? You want me to do it? I think he's got it. You got it? It's in there tight. You just have to squeeze it out. Yeah. I didn't have to, just peel it off. So just take a chunk and put it right on top of the tomato. And just rip like, it like, yeah, crudo de parma. Molto That bene. might be a little big. Let me see. Let's go like... I do need a little help. One. Two. Two. This three, will melt four. beautifully. That'll melt right on top of that. I've never used this before. It's delicious. It's so good. When I lived in Italy, this was what yep. I lived on for lunch every day. That and prosciutto. We'll do a little basil right on top of that. Who's basil? There she is. Okay. And it looks like we have a little extra cheese. Yeah. I could use this for roofing insulation. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they're back to basil, basil wrap them. Oh. Basil Rathbone? Yeah, that's, uh, he played uh, Sherlock Holmes. We could call this uh, Basil Rathbone Pizza. Bam. Bam. Are we allowed to say that? Bam. No, I think we're... Well, let me see your... No, you're not wearing the right There's Bam of Bam. You have to have those Crocs. Barney and Betty oh, referring to Bam Bam. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Well, here's a little fact that you might not know. In uh, Italy, if you watch the Flintstones, all of the Flintstones have the normal names that Hanna-Barbera and God gave them. Fred, Wilma, etc. Barney and but, Betty. But Pebbles is actually called Chitolina. Really? Which means little rocks. Well, their home the their hometown is called Bedrock. Their hometown is called Bedrock. That's true. I have them on DVD and in both animated form and live action form. You have really? almost everything in DVD. I wish that they would make a live action Jetsons movie because they just released a. Jetsons, a uh, Robo WrestleMania. Soon we'll be living it. Because they also had Bedrock WrestleMania with the Flintstones. Aren't <laughs> yeah. we supposed to be living that right now? Yeah, we were. I was the supposed 21st to be living century. in the house on a stick. Yeah, the 21st century. Well, we have seven minutes, so let's go and talk with our old friend Peter Brown from Tiny and Sons, who pays for all of this. And um, we'll be back in just a few minutes, and we'll be enjoying our pizza. I'm Peter Brown from Tiny and Sons Glass. Tiny and Sons Glass was established in 1978 when my father and brother and I were at 575 Washington Street in Pembroke. We're certified and qualified to do all your windshield replacement and repair. Tiny and Sons Glass is a community-based business. We have 12 mobile vans that come to you. If the weather's bad, you can come here to the shop. We have a nice waiting area, TV, Wi-Fi, kid-friendly, pet-friendly. We also can move about 15, 20 cars a day through the shop. Perfect for you when the weather's bad. So come on down to Tiny and Sons Glass if you need your windshield replaced or repaired. Tiny and Sons Glass, 1-888-64-TINYS. Just call. Thank you. Isn't that something? Oh, how delicious. We did a fine job. Did yes. a... Oops. Ooh. I did it again. Yeah, yeah. You, you know want to put in the other pizza? That always happens, doesn't it? 
certainly. You know, we're having so much fun, we're even going to make a square one, too. Why not? It's the same process. <laughs> and Karen, I can't keep on doing that. You have, you, and you have something against that, against that oven door, don't you? Of course not. No, I think it, I think you do. Some kind of a... I just have a deep, problem with it, that's you have a, all. You have a deep-seated dis, disdain for that, that particular oven door. Nonsense. What did it ever do to you? Right. Well, it keeps him from the food. Right. That's probably what it is. So, um, okay, well, we're going to make a, a square one, but before we do that, we're going to let this one cool off a little bit in the process. So, Kenny, since you are the, sauce, the sauciest of all of us, you will decide what can go on this, this square one, okay? All right. There's the sauce. There's another can of sauce there, and there's some pepperoni and some cheese, and you just make this uh, pizza a la Kenny. Just... But you're going to start with the sauce. All right. Well, I was saying is... Kyle was mentioning about cocktails. Yes. Well, I don't do cocktails because I don't smoke, I don't drink, and I'll never do drugs. And I'm also against people swearing, too. I'm the squeaky clean cut, Kyle. You squeaky are. clean cut, Kyle. Straight edge? He Follow is, the straight and narrow path. He is a straight arrow. As straight as they come. Another spoon? Somewhere there's a spoon. He has a spoon. A spoon. He knows where it is. Yeah, this see, is he knows this kitchen. See, he's got it down. Have at it, Kenny. All right, good job. Now, look at that. You're really getting a knack for it. Yes. What are you thinking about while you're swirling that sauce around? And don't get saucy with me, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're making a painting. Yeah. yeah. Did you like, write anything in the sauce? It looks like me. <laughs> it kind of looks like you a turkey. Wish. It looks like a turkey. Well, I'm always thinking about movies and TV shows. And what movie are you thinking about right now? Aladdin. Aladdin? That film well, is celebrating its 25th that. anniversary. It was created in 1992. Well, that's the DreamWork picture, right? No. No? That's classic Disney. Oh. You've been watching a DreamWorks lot of DreamWorks hasn't come out yet. You've been watching a lot of Fantasia. And also, uh, Pixar hadn't come out yet really yet. and you're never going to have a pizza like this Pixar released the first full-length uh, computer generated I'm in, computer generated imagery film Toy Story really yeah that was the one that was the first one with computer animation and when that come out in 1995 oh. and then four years later there was the second film and and 11 years later in 2010 was the third the fourth one's coming out in 2009. Do you think they're beating a dead horse with that? Nonsense. You don't think so? They're okay. great characters, and I've seen the Disney on Ice version of the Toy Story. The horse in that is plastic, it's not dead. That's true, but, I mean, you know what I mean, like, I'm, I'm just using the, you know. Okay. You want to put some cheese on that, Ken? My pleasure. I'll do it. I'm cheesy. All right. And you're saucy. The adventures of cheesy and saucy. And you can be the ham. No, well, we don't have ham. Well, it has a nice ring to it. Yeah. <laughs> the Adventures of Cheesy and Saucy in the Kitchen. Plus Tim. Plus Tim, the ham. Why am I ham? Ham and cheese. You're the ham and the cheese. Okay, I'll That's... live with that. <laughs> but we don't have any ham, though. Then we have to have pineapple and we do the uh, Hawaiian pizza. You know? I want Hawaiian pizza. That's My Aunt Kay loves it. Very controversial pizza. Why is it no. controversial? Because people don't like pineapple on their pizza. They don't think it belongs, but it does. It my good. Aunt Kay loves it. Yeah? She's my mother's sister, whom she calls Katie. Ooh, and she, we, we just met a nurse named KK. What a coincidence. I know. Wow. You see, I was in the hospital with chest pains, and my mom and, mom and dad was, whole, was with me all the time. And, and it was on Mother's Day by sheer coincidence. And I came, too. Because I go everywhere with Kenny. I kind of feel <laughs> left out. It feels great to be... <gasps> Can you, be you, our guest. Be our, we always do that. We can't. We can't do that every show. I can't help it. Yeah. Look at this. Look at he, he looks like he's flipping coins. I am. Yeah. Hey, yeah. heads or tails? Heads. Up. Oh, Up. Oh, tails. Sorry. You lose. <laughs> How can we tell? We just know. All right. <laughs> Gonna do this the the messy way. This is all right. This is fine. You got this a little, is, uh, there we go. Green stuff on your. Oh, you don't right. want that on the pizza. No, he doesn't want any vegetables anywhere near the pizza. Yeah. I wish you'd try some. 
Well, I'm just too fussy, finicky, and picky. <laughs> like you can never be too fussy, finicky, and picky. Oh, we're gonna put more, more, more of that on it? More meat? Well, let's, here, let's get a spoon so we can... I'll dish it up. How's that sound? Good idea. Okay. Your hands feel a little cold. Well, next to the pan, they are. The pan's still a little warm. So. All right. And then... You just, take it from here. I will do my best, sir. You want to put more cheese on top afterwards? All right. I think that's a good idea. Maybe we can use up the rest of the ball of mozzarella since we've already destroyed it. Oh, that's a good idea. What do you think of that? Might be good. Might be, might not be, but you know what? It's still yeah. going to be pizza, so what's the worst that could happen? Do that at the same time. Just improvise. Exactly. And I'm doing this away from the camera. It's terrible. Bad Kyle, bad Kyle. Well, come towards the camera then. There we are. Isn't that delicious? Okay. Yeah, and you got your profile. A good shot here. Oh. I do what I can, Ken. Ken, Ken. Ken, It's Ken. a good angle, right? Dun, 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 Okay. <laughs> You're full of it. I know. What? But what is it that I'm full of? That is the question. What well, I'm made of. Malarkey. Yes, I'm full of malarkey. You're on a roll. I am. No, that's the ground. There's no rolls here. No rolls here. That's another episode, Ken. Yeah. That's another catchphrase. Now, our next, which that reminds me, thank you, Tim, that was a nice segue. Whoa, our set next, you guys up. Our next episode is going to be um, uh, brought to you by our friend Barbara Case, who's going to be appearing on camera with us as well. And she is much more attractive than anyone you see right now. Um, but she is also um, uh, going to be making a four-layer chocolate cake, which will be mm, delicious. This is also from Kenny's Bible. So, no, it isn't. Oh, it isn't? No, it was from a different cookbook. In my, the work it? center. Well, in you, you, I want chocolate cake. You'll be here. Okay, good. Yeah, you'll be here. With, um, with cream. With, with cream. With a cream filling. I'll have a cream filling. Yeah, and that's way over my head. Yeah. So. Well, that's what's called the folk, it's called the cocoa fudge cream cake. Co oh. Cocoa fudge cream cake. Wow, that's, that's a mouthful. I have that everything sounds... planned out. Okay, well then we will defer to you, Kenny. All right, so Definitely. we have one pizza that's already ready to eat. So shall we try it? Give it a shot, guys. Okay, let's give it a shot. Shall we All use, right, we'll why use a not? knife. The knife. So hold on. Look, we're not going to cut it on that pan because that's a nice pan. Yeah, that's a nice pan. I'm going to take a little spatula. I love that's spa not a spatula. I love the word spatula. I wish it meant more. Where is it? There we go. Let's about put these? some vegetables on this one, but only on half. So. It's fun. Yeah. Right, Sneak gonna... it right See, under. This is like when you can have like fun in the kitchen. You can like each be doing your own thing, and nobody knows what's happening, and kind of a little bit of chaos and a little bit of fun. And... Right on the counter, we cleaned it beforehand, so we did. Now just put that right in the sink. We didn't film that part because it wasn't very much worth filming. It's not entertaining. Yeah. Who wants to see people clean? Yeah. Let me show you how to do it, Ken. Instead of going like that. We're going to drag the knife to actually... What we need is plates. We do need plates. I believe Why don't need... you work on the plates and I'll cut the pizza? And I'll basil this up. I'm only putting vegetables on half so Kenny won't be upset. Okay. That's, that's a good idea. An upset Kenny is not something we want. Not to a see. good idea. No. Mm. I love peppers. Mm. Delicious. I prefer pepperoni. Mm. <laughs> Here's a couple of plates. These will do just fine. These are marble. Sorry about that. Don't want to be mm -hmm. breaking them. And three. Everything will be just fine. Safe and sound. Touch more bar. Three in a row. Yeah, I'll use the spatula. There's, oopsie. Mm, that looks good. One. Oh, well, Kenny's already going in. Yep. And the rest is for me. Okay. Yeah. No, there's enough for both of us. You got yours, I got mine. He is a ham. Is this one yours? Sure. Which one should I do? I don't know which one you touch. Well, I only touched a piece oh, of pepperoni. Right. Right. We're, like, we're, pepperoni. We're, we're close friends, so. Shall we have a toast with the pizza? Tink. I didn't tink. Mm. I'm missing all my cues. Mm. Very good. Not bad at all. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. 
to the heart. I'm making a mess in front of so many people. Kenny, it's good pizza. You did good. So that, my friends, was Pizza Palooza with Kenny and Kyle and Tim Cahill. That's me. Thanks for watching.